time's up on the hands of America better listen up and not to this rev. Maybe to this one. You are fueling hate, confusion back into communities because you lost a round. Sir, sit down. God is not with you. You need to take a seat, take a back of the seat, and sit down and let God take control of this situation. Because in God, there's love. In God, there's peace. In God, there's unity. You understand you are showing none of that to the human race. Let's talk about stunned silence, or was that the sound of Martin Luther King no longer rolling in his grave, no longer hearing from preachers who freely use his name, but shame his peaceful legacy? We're on it with Ben Stein and Charles Payne and Dagan McDowell, along with Adam Lashinsky and Charlie Gasparino. Charles Payne, I think that they, they, they uh, call that... Um, giving the false prophets the business. Yeah, and, uh, and the biggest of all the false prophets. Let's face it, Al Sharpton's a flamethrower. Whenever we have these incidents, there's a lot of pain. There's a legacy of pain. There's current pain. There's a pain of maybe no hope in the future. He takes that pain, and it's like taking uranium. You can make a nuclear weapon with it, or you could build a power plant with wow, it. He built a nuclear weapon with it. Martin Luther King was eloquent. He put a mirror in front of Americans, all Americans, black and white, said, look where we are, look what we can be. He wanted everyone to have an opportunity, not a guarantee of an outcome, an opportunity if you work for it. Hey, judge me by the content of my character, and if I can live up to the opportunity, then I want to be able to advance. Al Sharpton is saying, forget about the open doors that you're running by, go and burn something down. And he sells hopelessness. It's a shame. You know, Dagan, uh, Charles mentioned Martin Luther King, and I always think of that incident in 1956 where his house was uh, firebombed and uh, there was a gang gathering outside the house afterwards who wanted vengeance and he, he told him stop just stop and his family was almost killed uh there would be many other <clears throat> such incidents and sadly we knew the one that would end his life but he urged the opposite of the very things the al sharptons and the like almost instigate because Dr. King and uh, many leaders in this country today know this, whether it's Charles, whether it's religious leaders, they know that violence turns the ears who need to listen deaf, that people stop listening. They will ignore a situation when people turn to violence. It, it, it ends the discussion. I, I think that what's happened this past week in New York City and other cities, people are protesting. Protests are disruptive. We, we were talking about you could hear protests in the street, but that speaks volumes to me that crowds of people can come together if they're upset about something. That's when America will listen and change, I think. Not when they block the West Side Highway. <laughs> And that's not an when they block all exits out that's of an this inconvenience. fine island. That's an inconvenience, <laughs> yes. but it's not mm -hmm. violent. But it got your it's attention. Not it did. It's it not got stealing. my attention. I don't have any problem with inconvenience. All right, Ben Stein, so great to see you here in the flesh. Uh, honor to be here. Well, when I think of Martin Luther King Jr., I think of a lion. I think of a man of peace and a man of destiny. When I think of Al Sharpton, I think of a weasel. He's a weasel. He's just, his entire purpose is self-promotion. He doesn't care if he's lighting fires of racial tension. He doesn't care what the consequences of, of any of his acts are as long as it promotes him. The fact that President Obama is listening to him, consults him, apparently considers him one of his pals, is terrifying. It is a terrifying moment when the President of the United States listens to a person whose main goal is disruption and self-promotion. That is something that worries me a lot, too. When I see, you know, Sharpton constantly showing up at the White House and a, a trusted advisor, and I'm thinking, you know, you're a nut. Yeah. Uh, so, Adam, like, <laughs> what, what do you make of that? Not, not that you're a nut. Uh, that, that Sharpton is. But you get my The President... <laughs> the, the president, uh, uh, just as the rest of us do, need to listen to all sorts of people, Neil. I'm certainly not going to, I'm not advocating violence. I advocate, you know, I think I agree with what Dagan said. <clears throat> Protest is a good thing. I don't, I, I'm very uncomfortable with what Ben said of taking somebody and, call, first of all, calling them names, which I think is demeaning and petty. You're stooping to his level, Ben, the way at least you describe him. Well, that, he calls and, uh, people names. You, you, call, you just called me yeah. a name. You just called me a name. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you call me a name. No, I said you're <laughs> yeah, behaving you in a, a petty name. way, which you is call different from name. calling you a weasel. You, no, and well, I think we should. Weasel. He is a weasel. Well, I think we on. should rise up and we should say exactly as Dagan said that protest and speaking out what, for what we see as injustice is a good thing, and violence is a terrible thing. Always, it's criminal activity. Well, I know what God weasel. thinks, and I think God thinks that was a stupid answer to my question. <laughs> <laughs> just, just me. Um, all right, Charlie Gatz, we're not. I take the humor um, in your comment. I, yeah. <laughs> I actually know Al Sharpton uh, pretty well. I've been a reporter in this city for a long time. Um, not everything he does is bad. Um, I don't believe he's a weasel. Um, he is now selling a false narrative, though. Uh, I mean, and this is where it gets real problematic with, with, that, with Reverend Sharpton. He is now suggesting that New York City or Ferguson, Missouri is the Jim Crow South. And that is a false narrative. That is not true. New York City's police department is very racially mixed. Uh, I don't know, like the fact that Mr. Gardner uh, um, was, was, was put in a chokehold and he died over selling cigarettes, but he resisted arrest. This is not J J Jim Crow South. The gentleman in Ferguson, Missouri, not just resisted arrest, he tried to take an officer's gun. And then he went, that was after he ripped, tried to rip off a but convenience you know, and store. And I respect, yeah, and I don't want to go through but each is, case. But that, no, but I know that where is you're a going. false uh, narrative. No, no, I know where you're going. But I want to step back, guys, because when, when a Sharpton or these other types get, get in, in individuals' faces, that's one thing. But they scare businesses. They actually scare businesses. They scare and, and, and they get them to the point, like, we won't say a thing. Well, that, that's this old shakedown routine that's worked very well for a handful of people. You take the legacy of uh, Jim Crow, slavery, and discrimination, and you and a handful of friends benefit mightily from it. But I disagree with Charlie that somehow this is the new Al Sharpton. This is the old Al Sharpton just lost some weight and polished up. Some things uh, he's done is good, some things aren't. No, no, I, I agree. mean, I, I, listen, I, I, but, but I, let me add something, I've been please. to some Al Sharpton things 20 years ago. I yeah. mean, listen, I know you know him as a reporter. I know him, too, and I'm telling you right now, net, net. Net net, it's like losing I'm, a dollar and finding a penny. I'm, I'm, it is I'm, net net a disaster listen, to listen, black people, all, a disaster listen, to America. I, he has I done agree. enough man, listen, I would Net net is a, is a negative. Charlie. I would just, I would just, I, listen. I'm not going to argue with you on that. I'm not going to speak for the black community on Al Sharpton. I would I just mean, say for this. America, I, just, I would just say this. I would just say this. He, he is. He's, he is I, I'm not going to say who people should pick as their leaders. The bottom line is this. And by the way, no black people have voted for Al Sharpton as their leader. The media made him their leader. Black people. Most, there listen, is a reason people why, in the city of, why, of, why, of why, a million the There's a reason up. why the president wants to meet with the guy. Yeah, you know why? Because he used reverse psychology. Let me tell you the trick that Al Sharpton used with, uh, with the president. He tried this with me in a church. That, oh, hey, you ain't black enough. You ain't hip enough. When the president first started, when he ran for office initially, people said Hillary Clinton was blacker than him. He got tricked into the old reverse psychology game. It's old hustler street game, listen, and it worked. I, and I'm, I'm telling I, you right listen, now, it's I a know, disaster. I know that Al Sharpton does bad stuff, I'll be, he's, and he's selling a false narrative on he this, is. but I'm not going to sit here and call him a weasel because that's no. Well, we're getting way off topic. We're gonna, Dagan, here's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm that, all I'm saying is that if, when the president had this power with all the community leaders and everyone else uh, of reverends and uh, of all faiths and all, he, he, he didn't have the reverends we had on this show. He didn't have those who were still men of God, just of a different point of view. Uh, he didn't have the types who said it's about personal accountability and personal responsibility and, and essentially not blowing an incident out of proportion mm -hmm. to the reality of the moment or, or, or victimhood. Uh, th 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 their points of view, I think, should have been listened to just as much as well, they we had the Al Sharpton types on, on this well, network as were, well. Well, they were and are because you have them on your program. But and they so should they, be at the White House talking to the president. They, they should, should be, be on the other networks. It shouldn't be just up to, do I have to do the media's job alone? Yes, you do, <laughs> actually. But you raise a good point about uh, the Reverend Al Sharpton that the more exposure he gets from political leaders, from the mayor here, from he the governor the here, the president there, it gives him power and it gives him money, and then it becomes circular. But what? But what? What constructive thing has he done? I mean, I, I, I'm fascinated that Charlie Gasparino knows him and admires him. But no, what? No, 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 is, don't put no, words. Words. Listen, you want to call, you wanna call is, him a weasel? Well, you can call wait, him a weasel. Wait, don't, don't say what, I admire what, him. Well, you admire some I, things I just, he's no, done. You admire some things he's done. What? What is it about him that's admirable, if I may? And by the way, I don't mean he's literally a weasel crawling around on right, four right. feet. I mean, I, in my opinion, he's a rather uh, listen, inestimable kind of guy. Listen, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you that there is an issue. Maybe you don't know this at all. Between with friction between the black community 
and with the police department that goes beyond Al Sharpton and some of the stuff he's throwing around. It's a bad thing. It That's needs right, to be man. addressed. Now, some people will make the point that Al Sharpton makes it worse, which he does at times, but there's no doubt that he that there is this issue where the black communities in different parts of this country, including the city, feels under siege. Now, um, he's been bringing right, well, that up for years, and I don't think that's a problem. He thinks he knows about art. No, no, no. But here's the thing. When you, when, what happens is when Al Sharpton does get involved in all these things, they all kind of meld together. I disagree with Charlie that Ferguson was the same as Staten Island. Uh, yeah, yeah I the guy, Eric same. Gardner, was, was, was resisting arrest, but it was obvious he wasn't resisting it in, in an aggressive way where he posed a threat to anyone around him. Right. Uh, now, I don't know anything about the legalities. I would love to see what happened with the grand jury there. Uh, but, the, but the bottom line is, is that of 20 years of Al Sharpton, things have not gotten better, and I think it's a shame that President Obama brought him into his inner circle. That's all I'm saying. They've right. gotten better for Sharpton. They certainly they have. gotten better for Sharpton. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break here. Uh, next time, Adam, if you could just pipe down, uh, we will get to you a little bit more in the next segment. I apologize for that. In the meantime, illegals in and now money out. Do you think it is going to be years before those 5 million new folks start costing in? Try again.